Welcome to part four. At the end of the last episode, we had fitted the deck. Then it was time to zip off the overlap of the deck with the router and sand off the corners to make some tactile rounded edges, which suddenly gave the boat a finer appearance. Then the deck was carefully fiberglassed along with the cockpit and seat backs. Next I cut strips of sapili to make the chansom skirt trim, the foot rails and the main rails to go around the boat. I fit the transom skirt trim using thickened epoxy and temporary screws. Then I did the tow rails. Here I'm fitting before sticking them in place with epoxy resin. Then we had an opening ceremony for the cabin. Hey. Cabin is open. <laughs> <laughs> Followed by a quick check of the sleeping accommodation. And now it's time to fit the main rails, which are built up from three layers of wood. At last, the day had arrived to turn the boat over. Tires were borrowed and friends gathered to help out. The trickiest part was to remove the cradle whilst balancing the boat on its edge. We made a makeshift railway sleeper trolley for each end to facilitate rolling the boat in and out of the garage. Then it was time for some sanding. Lots of sanding. Before fiberglassing the bottom of the boat, I stuffed some polythene into the centerboard trunk to prevent drips of epoxy running down inside. Then it was time to fiberglass the keel as well as the bottom and sides of the boat. Mm -hmm. 